Today I want to show you a camping fridge which is perfect for camping, for using a car or just as a second fridge. Who knows what do you want to use it for? Let's try it! Think about what kind of camping fridge you want to get, because this one is a really big one. So the Bodega TWW59. It's not a small one, I would say. There are smaller ones out there, there are bigger ones out there, no question asked. But uh, make sure you get the right size for what you want to do with it. Especially the bigger they are, the more power it will consume. But um, for my purpose, going on a campsite, being able to store some drinks, store some fresh food and stuff like that, and I can make some really delicious food out of it and cook stuff. That adds so much value for me and I can't wait to test it. And uh, I think we're going somewhere camping in California, so um, the heat waves already announced. Great, I can't wait for that. So let's see how it performs in this uh, nice temperature. I'll let you know and uh, hopefully you will watch that video as well. This is the Bodega TWW59. 59 quarts. The 59 stands for 59 quart or 55 liters. This one has a handle and it has rolls, which is exactly what I wanted to have. You can extend the handle, you can pull it out, you can pull the whole freezer slash fridge. And to be clear, this one is a dual zone camping fridge and freezer. What that means? Let me open it. That means it has on the one side a fridge compartment and on the other side a freezer compartment. You can set both temperatures individually. You can set it to the same temperature or you can make one of them a freezer. The freezer is closer to the compressor which is on this side and that's why this one is also, this compartment is smaller. What makes it to a camping fridge or um, they call it even a car fridge? It's capable of just running on a 12 volt battery and using this power cord which comes with the fridge. But you can also use it with a normal power cord at your home if you want to start cooling down. It also came with a manual which is very rare those days. I know, I know. <laughs> I can't wait to use it, it's really cool. I want to use it with my solar generator which means it will run off the DC 12 volt the whole time. Yeah, I'm really stoked that I bought it and I am really can't wait to take it for my first camping trip. Last time in summer when we went camping it was freaking hot and I really I thought I want to have something where I able to just use this. Let's get a more close look into what it looks like. Left side is the freezer compartment and the right side the fridge. You also get those baskets which you can just pull out and put back in and then you can clean it. That's really really nice and makes it convenient especially given the fact that um, it's very deep and very tall. I was surprised when I received this huge box but I think it's worth it. I really think it's worth it. I can store so many more things for camping. I can't wait to cook when I'm camping and having all the cool drinks and stuff like that. That's something which makes it very more luxury. I know that's something which makes it really luxury and I'm not a luxury camper I thought but other than that you can pull out the handle here which makes it to a trolley style pulling. Also very convenient because it's when it's fully loaded it's heavy so you just want to pull it on the ground, that's nice. Uh, you also have those controls over here, which I will show you in a bit, and um, it also comes with a USB port if you want to charge something, which is okay, why not. Very nice as well, you can take out the lid and you can put it on the other side. So wherever you are and uh, however you want to access it, just put it in, just put it in and close it. Very nice and easy. So that is a nice feature, it comes also with a cutting board. I don't know why, but um, all right, thank you, why not? Cutting boards are great, so might use it. And as always, when I buy something, I like to have smart components and this one comes with an app. <laughs> it means I can draw it on my phone. And what that looks like, I'll show you now. But I'm this time I'm not letting it run until it's super cold. Um, that's something I wanna do when I'm outside, when I'm really testing it. I will plug it in with uh, an AC, 110 volts at home. If you like this video and you want to see more, please give me a thumbs up. Here we will start a smart car fridge. And that's what it looks like. I'm already connected. You can see here that the current temperature, which is here, for the left compartment is at 80 degree. What means left compartment? It's, you can see down here, which compartment is this. This one's the right one, this one's the left one. So the left one is a current temperature 18, but it is set to 7. That's the fridge on the right side. I'm gonna click here on the right. You can see the current temperature 23, but it's set to minus 18. Um, you wanna know what it is at Fahrenheit? 
pretty easy. I think it's very important also to see what it looks like from the side. So it is tall. The noise level is uh, is below 42 decibel. You don't want to sleep with it all the time, but it's. I think it's convenient and it's going on and off all the time, so it's not all the time running very loud. The rated power input is at 90 watts. It's only pulling 90 watts, of course, when a compressor is running, and that is not the case all the time. You want to have it pre cool already when you put stuff in, I guess, before you put it in your car and then go in camping. Here you can see the back. Down here, that's where the power cord goes in. It also has um, here an option for a battery pack. Nice convenient handles, so you can hold them both sides. That's very nice. The wheels look good. I'll let you know how they perform <laughs> on dirt and on campsite. You can see the other side. So the handle, you have to release it to pull it all the way out. Here we have the front. So it feels good. It's plastic all over the place, of course. How it performs, that's, uh, yeah, that's definitely something I have to test out. So guys, that's it already. This Bodega TWW59 is a huge, <laughs> a really huge camping fridge and freezer. But why not going bigger? One thing for sure, be aware of the size. And uh, I will continue with this review in the next video and we'll let you know what I packed in, how it performed, did it keep the temperature, how was the packing in the car and all those kind of things. Basically everything you need to know when you go on a camping trip. That's something which I will follow up in the next video. Thanks for watching, hope to see you next time. Cheers! If you like this video and you want to see more, please give me a thumbs up.